The spring term here at Colton Grammar School has been a lively and productive one, with students taking advantage of the many extracurricular opportunities offered by our dedicated staff and enthusiastic sixth form. Year 12 have enjoyed an invaluable week of work experience. They've undertaken hands-on placements to help them gain an insight into their chosen career path. Our partnership with the German Cultural Association, the Goethe Institute, continues to provide new benefits for our modern languages department. And a host of sporting, charitable and musical events have underscored what has undoubtedly been a successful start to 2014. What do you think happened to the, um, why do you think the pH of the water changed? And this term year 8s have been studying the world's oceans and as part of their studies into the Arctic Ocean uh, they took part in a polar challenge day where we had polar explorers and scientists come into the school and run a variety of workshops and activities for them to give them a true taste of what it's like to study and explore the Arctic. One of the activities that they were involved with uh, took them outside using the school grounds uh, to drag big tractor tyres around training to pull sleds, which is one of the ways that the polar explorers train when they're back in the UK. Um, and the groups really enjoyed the um, competitive element of uh, dragging the tyres in the relay races. Meanwhile, back in the classroom, polar uh, explorer Anne Daniels ran a workshop on uh, her experiences in the Arctic, uh, and the students got to cook and taste some of the expedition food, which was really tasty, it was beef and potato stew. A final activity involved students taking part in a number of practical activities in the classroom where they were investigating ocean acidification and the impact that's having on the uh, polar ecosystems. And the whole day, I think, gave them a really good insight into the sort of research that's taking place in the Arctic and it showed their links between the geography they learn in the classroom with what's going on up there in the Arctic right now. This term, our relationship with the Goethe Institute continues to flourish. We've had a theatre company coming in to perform to many different years in the school, um, impressing our students with the drama workshop afterwards. We were very grateful to Carl Pfeiffer for organising that. Um, we've also had a specialist teacher from the Goethe Institute who's worked with our two AS groups um, and helped them to uh, prepare for the German exams coming up. Two students, Livy and Erin, we're very proud of them because they have achieved a scholarship from the Goethe Institute which means they can study in Germany for three weeks during the summer holidays and come back with excellent language skills, we hope. And finally, uh, a big thank you to Mr House who has celebrated the PASH project uh, by dedicating this year's concert uh, to German composers and German music. Well, we've just finished clearing up from our major concert of the term, which was in Exeter Cathedral, with the orchestra and senior choir, so that's about 150 students in total, singing and playing in a wonderful setting. We chose the programme this year to really feature the link with the Goethe Institute. And so in the first half we had the Schumann Piano Concerto with the orchestra working very hard to accompany professional pianist Samantha Ward. She was delightful and reported that the students were charming, polite and super musicians. Great to work with. Then in the second half we sang some German choral music and were pleased to welcome back two former students, Chloe Strata and Daniel Rudge, who both sang solos with us. They're now making their living as professional musicians. And the choir sang beautifully in the 4A Requiem. So time for a bit of a rest in the Easter holidays before we're back to the cathedral again to sing Evensong next term. I'm very pleased to tell you that uh, this spring we received four fruit trees from uh, the River Cottage Fruit Share Scheme. And we planted them in this area of the school, which we're calling our avenue of food and we aim to grow apples, pears, plums and fruit that will be used in our canteen um, in some lovely recipes for the students to eat, very sustainable supply of food. Uh, the Green Society which is a student group uh, have been up here this week and have with the help of our groundsman Mr Poston been planting the trees. We aim to add to those and, and get a lovely avenue of very productive growth. This term, students in Year 7 and 8 have participated in a national reading competition called Read for My School. 
As English teachers, we encouraged our students to read as many books as possible over an eight-week period. They could read books from the school library, from home or from the competition website. We've been delighted by the efforts of our students, with many of them reading over 20 books and some reading as many as 50. I've read about 28 books, I think. I read 17 books. 23 books. I have read 23 books. 37 books. We've already heard that the school has won a prize of 100 books and we're waiting to hear about the individual prizes, which will be announced in May. On the week beginning the 17th of March, myself and my fellow sports leaders uh, arranged a variety of activities to raise money for sports relief. Uh, these included a staffy sixth form question of sport, a penalty and netball shootout at lunch, a bake sale and the big event, the Sports Relief Mile on the Friday lunchtime where students obtained their own sponsorship. Uh, all in all, these events raised over £1,000 towards a fantastic cause and it was good fun for all involved. <laughs>